Guys, we are at the Goodwill outlet here in San Bernardino with sunny Las Vegas. <laughs> Everybody's recording. We've got we've got Don We're right our own there. We're paparazzi. Yeah, everybody's recording. <laughs> it's 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 record inception right here guys we're gonna, we're gonna go see what kind of deals we can find I see people looking at us yeah i know Literally. we're gonna be weird see yep they are looking at us we'll see how we fit in i know dude this is led zeppelin modern but or is it modern yeah it's modern how beat up is this might get that Bruce Springsteen. There's another modern one, right? Yeah. Eh, we might pick these up. There you go. Put that in there. Gotta love it when there's no music, guys. Einstein? This is cool. There's like, what do you think? That's a stain, though, isn't it? Yeah, that. Dang it. Fit. Yeah. Darn it. You see the one I got? What'd you get? Ah, yes, Bimbo. This is uh, one of the biggest bread making companies in, in Mexico. Awesome, and the bear is so cute. He is. I love the little bear. What, what have you found me, Sonny? Nothing yet. <laughs> I haven't found anything yet. I found you this, actually. Oh. I found you this right here. Nice. It's pretty cool. What are these? It's like a pillow, I think. Oh, like you put the... Ah. Okay. Dope. Good luck, man. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Okay. Is it older? Yeah, I think this is older. Yeah, I just pulled this out, guys, and I'm asking Sonny what he thinks about it. This is... I think this would do good if you ended up collecting them. You know what I mean? Yeah. For apparel and be like, hey, we got narrowed down to a genre of women's stuff. Because people do buy this stuff. The stuff's so you know inexpensive here. I'm just yeah. gonna get it and see how it does. Yeah. Unless you want it. No. Um, yeah, I, I I do collect stuff like this. And well, I if you like it, take it, man. Because I've never I'm not I haven't really sold stuff like that. And if you have a, but it is a little heavy. Yeah. We'll look up comps. Okay. Look up comps later and see. You look look up comps and take it if it's worth something. Thank you. All right, brother. That's my thing. So from what I can tell, I've only been here a couple, this is the second time. They don't really interchange or switch the bins here a ton. So you really have to dig. That's the key at like San Bernardino. You gotta dig through all these thoroughly. Cause I don't know if they're gonna bring out more throughout the day. That's pretty beat up. I like that tag on it. And this is my team. Hopefully they move to, to Vegas. But I don't wanna clean that up. If you can see all the dirt and stains. This is like a Ghostbuster suit. Is it all here? There we go. Egon. Probably pick that up. With the tag. Threw it on the ground. Here we go. There we go. Check this out, guys. Vintage Maui scrambled eggs. Definitely a little worn out, but We'll pick up vintage hats like that all day. Let's a little more in this spot where you found the hat. Maybe there's a few more. Hmm. I don't see anything. Maybe there is. Though. You never know. Oh, there's a hat. There we go. Nice. <laughs> it worked. It's a little beat up. A lot beat up. A lot of sweat stains. Eesh. You know what? This is this is probably late 90s. I'm gonna get it. Try to clean it. If it doesn't work, no harm, no foul. This looks kind of like a football jersey. A beat up, yes. The iron, what is it? The iron Munich? But this is a see the tag guys? It's a it's a fake, but still kind of cool. I collect jerseys, but I want an authentic one. Um, Especially, I just collect them when I find them at the thrift or at the bins. I don't want to pay full price for them. I don't really want fake ones. So here's, a, here's another. Oh, this is just like a local 
kids team. Nice, nice quality though. Gildan makes me believe it's not authentic, so I'm gonna pass on that. Let's see what else we see. There we go. X-Men. Love the X-Men. This is good filler for the auction. Gonna pick this up. By far. Other than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, my favorite cartoon as a kid, the X-Men. I'm waiting for a Gambit movie. That was, that's the one I'm really waiting for, which I think they're doing. Number eight. What is that for? Makes me think maybe it's NASCAR, but now it doesn't look like much of anything. Darn it. Let's see what Don's found. What have you found, Don? Anything interesting? Couple of plushies. This one. Popeye. Champion Popeye. That's pretty cool. Oh, a World couple. World Series. World Series LA. Got some Hello I Kitties. Gotta clean them. Always do well in the auction. This is vintage, isn't it? No, maybe not, but that's kind of cute. It is cute. Nice. Vintage. Uh, that is vintage right there. Didn't we sell a Snoopy like that the other day? What that mm -hmm. auction? Red Sox. It's 47. Awesome. It's got like the really kind of old school lettering and everything I'd definitely put that in there well done this looks like there's a couple good things in this bin mm -hmm. sometimes i found like a bin that had a few hats it's sometimes they're just certain similar stuff all in the same bin it does look like there's going to be more cards coming out here in a sec so people are waiting for them so that'll be cool. Fresh carts, so I guess they bring them out several times during the day, I hope. Or at least we came at the right time. Let's see what we're finding. There's, there's so many bins here. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it's Pokemon. Kid shirt. Old Navy. I'll pick this up, though. It's good filler for the auction. We do whatnot, guys. At least once or twice a week, so we'll throw it on. Raiders hoodie. This is a size XXL. This will fit me, so I'll probably sell it, but if not, I will keep it for myself. But we'll find your Raider stuff down here. Kind of like a denim style dress. It was at Ross for 15. It's new with tags. It doesn't weigh much. It might cost me two dollars or so. so. I'm gonna pick it up. Just put it in the store, let it sit, put it on Poshmark, see how it goes. Dragon Ball Z does well in our auction. This one looks like it might be dirty though. Let's see. It's not bad. We just gotta just gotta throw it in the wash and get the wrinkles out and everything. Let me double check. Okay, I checked. It's got like a lot of pink here. I don't know if that's if that's from, but I'm gonna stay away from it. It wasn't, you know, a big ticket item anyway. Ooh, look, center swoosh. Nike. Is this vintage or new? No, this is gray tag. I think that's 2000s. This is clean. I'm picking it up. I don't know what the value is, but that's kind of dope. Here we go. That was the reason somebody didn't pick it up. I'm not going to deal with it. With that. Yeah, I'm going to pass. I'm just going to be careful. Get clean stuff or stuff that only needs minimal cleaning. Found the toy one. much in that one over there I didn't find much there's a ton of people so I'm gonna come back over here where nobody's here people have already probably picked through this but I saw somebody put back look like uh, some sort of football t-shirt yep Chicago Bears here it is number 10 large who is 10 it's an older one I'm sure Trubisky <laughs> I'm still gonna pick it up he's kind of a 
kind of didn't play well for them, but you never know. I'll pick it up. A few dollars. Not as good as I had hoped, but, you know. Always, you know, walk around. People are throwing stuff back, especially at the corners by, like, the checkout. People will throw stuff back. And that's a big, big hint. Just go and check that stuff when they throw it back. There's going to oftentimes be a small issue. Or they might just be looking, you know, for grails or something. So they throw back 10 15 $20 items all the time. Here's Lion King, Disney tag. This will go well in our auction, so I'll pick that up. But, you know, I always like to stay moving. Like I've said in other videos, I like to stay moving. I'm not the best at clothing yet. I'm still learning, so I'm okay getting some of the stuff people put back that's in the, you know, 10 to $20 range. That's yeah, so this cool. is not like, this is kind of just some random brand, but I just like the vibe of it. The corduroy. Mm -hmm. I say we get it. Good find, Don. Throw it in the cart. What's this? It's a Christmas shirt. Bad timing. As it is January and not December. Or actually February. It's February. That's what month it is. This is a pretty good condition modern souvenir tea from Lake Tahoe, but it's got a big graphic on the back and just like Lake Tahoe, Tahoe on the front. We'll pick it up for the pro. <laughs> we'll pick it up. It's cheap enough. Brand new Christmas story shirt. Awesome. No white? That's like a scrub, isn't it? Like scrub? Or that's cool. Oh no, it's just like a dress top. A vintage hats. UPS hat. I don't know about this. Hmm? Wonder Woman? At the prices here, I'd pick it up. You know, this not paying cool. much. Hello Kitty. Oh, yeah. We do really well with Hello Kitty stuff in the auction especially. Yeah. That's awesome. And this one. I thought this one was cool. Kind of looks like Sublime or something. Killer Acid. What's the graphic on the back? Oh, dope. Love it. Love it. Just cool art. This I'll look up, but it's... Uh, My, My Little Pony. Pony. And then I found... These are Disney exclusives. Oh, they're exclusive? Oh, yeah, yep. that's Eeyore, isn't it? And Tigger. Oh, that's cool. And Those are probably horse. dope. Really good. Cool, cool. And these pair of bears. bears. A lot of this will end up in our auction. Some will go on eBay, probably. I think that's it since last time I got Awesome. I want to look up this. This is a Lauren Conrad brand, which I know she was like on a TV show, like some reality show. Organic cotton. We'll see if it's any good. It was 30 bucks. It's brand new. Probably, I don't even think I'm going to look it up. I'll just pick it up. We'll learn that way. But you just can't lose. There's a true religion right there. Probably tore up if it's still sitting here, but... Hmm. I'm not saying... I don't. I feel like true religion isn't as good as it once was, because I look at prices and they're not crazy, but I'm still going to pick them up. I don't know if you should pick them up if they have paint stains. I know, like, with, like vintage stuff people like like the paint stains and stuff what do you think don true religion but this has some paint stains but sometimes jeans with paint stains sell well i'm just gonna get it we'll learn right i'll just sell it with the paint stain it's a cool thing about the bins you can uh take chances and learn because the prices aren't expensive right don exactly people just put this back is that willy wonka yep just gotta clean it a little bit that's from, I'm good at that. Uh, one of the Cartoon Network shows. I forgot which one. You need to clean them. In and out box. <laughs> the shoe, the shoe box. Did they make in and out shoes? They probably. Or this might be something they get to employees. Having worked there for a short time, they give you gifts on like Christmas. I think I got like an MP3 thing, but that was like 12 years ago when I worked there. Oh, you worked there at the 2010. Yeah, they give you Christmas presents. Yeah, fans. Looks like it's clean. Pretty much pick up any vans I see at the, the bins. This is red cap, but it's Mopar. And it has somebody's name on it. So this is somebody's uniform. I wonder if they worked at Mopar or if they, isn't Mopar, is this an auto part thing or are they? I don't know. I say get it because you never know, it might be something like work, workwear that's yeah. kind of expensive for them to buy if they lose, so who knows? No harm, no foul, I say we just buy it. Pretty cool, Frida Kahlo. Let's see if it's in good condition. It's actually branded. Viva la vida. I will definitely pick this up, it's cool.
Hmm. This kind of stuff. I'll put this in. Don would know more about it, but doilies, vintage, knit, definitely 70s or maybe late 60s. It's kind of cute. It's a kid Sonic shirt. It's actually Sonic branded. At first I thought somebody made it. This isn't going to be big money, but it could do well in our auction, so we'll pick it up. Doing a couple rounds, guys. That's key. You want to go through a couple times. Go to spots you've been at already. Dig a little more, and sometimes people put stuff back, so you'll find you'll find some deals that way. Found a Margaritaville Cinco de Mayo style uh, with the tag right here. I mean, May's coming up in a couple months. This might be worth picking up. I think it's a larger size too. Um, let's see. It is. It is a size XL. Take a chance on this one, Silver Star. It's got a nice side side hit right here. I think it's like an MMA brand or something. Not much on the back other than something along the side. Probably won't be a big ticket thing, but we're gonna try it out, see how it does. This Team Titan Go shirt from a mile away. There we go. Filler, I'll take it. It's in good condition. For the auction. It is true, yeah. A dollar nineteen on hard goods, so that means our plushes and everything instead of two eighty nine a pound, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a dollar nineteen, which is cheaper than Vegas, so that's kind of nice. We're going to wait. If not, we're gonna head out. We're not sure yet. Um, the Super Bowl is like in four or five hours, and we live in Vegas, so we're trying to get back for the Super Bowl. They are actually exchanging kind of the middle row of carts here, so that's how they do it throughout the day. I guess a couple times a day, so hopefully they'll have some new cards out here in a second. Meanwhile, found this National League Championship Dodger shirt in like, in like new condition. This is not big money. This might go in the auction. If not, I'll probably be like 5 to $8 plus shipping. I'll just pick it up. Filler. Doesn't weigh anything. That is WNBA. LA Sparks. Band down. Yeah. Yeah, let's get it. Weighs nothing, which is an ideal thing, right? Oh, yeah. It costs us like 25, 30 cents. Let's get it. New cards, guys. This is the exciting thing. Let's see if I can find anything. Bed shoes, bed shoes. I might have picked the wrong ones, guys. Oh, there we go. Thrasher. You can throw it over your shoulder. That's how the pros do it, right? And you walk around more. Nobody's perfect. I don't know. Is that something? Probably not. I don't know. Let me know, guys, if I messed up on that. Vintage, but it was fake vintage. Muscle Abercrombie. Throw me off with the Abercrombie guys. This is nice because it's not as crowded as, as Vegas. You can actually get bins and really look. Vegas, you're lucky to get a corner. Before Christmas, Walt Disney World, Disneyland. It's kids, but I can do something with it. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. A Ford. Full zip. Minnesota Twins. So this must have been a stadium giveaway, maybe? Surely a stadium giveaway because the quality is not amazing. But I'll still pick it up. Some sort of giveaway. Trip of a lifetime. Grim days. I've bought shirts like these before. The graphics are wild. So, you know, it's a good looking colorway though. Like the 90s purple. Ooh, another one. Wrangler. Wrangler. Those are good. Those are probably 15 ish a pop. Square buttons. Pretty cool. It actually even has this, the extra buttons. Oh, nice, and then it should say slows. Well, it doesn't here, but these. Oh, here we go. 100% silk. Okay. Oh, I bought. I bought them before. I don't know if they sell fast, but I buy them because they're just silk. 
Don just found a whole pile of Tommy Bahama, which at bin prices is definitely a buy. This one says Island Shores. I don't know if that's good or not. Eh, this one's Tommy let's see. Bahama. I'm not sure. We can get it though and see. We can test it out. This one's Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama, nice. We'll get the Island Shore one and see if it works, just because it weighs nothing and we can test it out. But nice, just all in this little corner. There was another one, but it had some stainage on the bottom. So this whole thing right here. Could have some more. Yeah. It's Greg Norman. That's not a great brand, but. All right, hello. Wild. Oh, somebody thing. This looks tropical ish. It looks like it could be. And they all been Tommy yep, Bahama. Tommy, ba Tommy Bahama. Nice. This one is made to be tore up right here. Thrill. I'm not sure about the brand, but once again, cool. I mean, you can just take chances at the bins. So we're not paying much. Let's get it. Yes. The Adler. Marcus Adler, and it's a zip up Shaw. But it's flannel. It's flannel. Will you turn it around? Show us. That's wild. I think I've heard of the name too. So. I've heard of it. Yeah. Let's try it out. That's okay. something unique that you know. That was a good bin. This bin was really good. trying not to drink soda guys i've been doing really good spin drift um not sponsored doesn't taste amazing but it's better than regular water so thank you guys so much for watching that goodwill bins video i hope that you enjoyed that was san bernardino i'm in las vegas that's like three or so hours away which was you know a little bit of a drive we had a couple things we were doing over the weekend down in california and i want to go down maybe every other week to san bernardino and do an in the bins video they're more exciting to me. I enjoy them more. There was no music playing most of the time, so I could give you my off-the-cuff reaction to the stuff I was finding, which I prefer. Um, so we plan on doing that more. I hope you guys will like it in the future, and I hope you liked this video. I do have an announcement. Some of you know that uh, Kevin, the Commonwealth Picker, is um, sponsored by Supply Hut. That's one of his cabins is called the Supply Hut. Well, they've decided to sponsor trash to cash our podcast me kevin and dave the nc picker and along with that me and dave both have our own codes not very many people have supply hut discount codes right now only a few of us and it's five percent off all the stuff which is already pretty low you can get boxes you can get bubble wrap you can get all sorts of different bubble mailers paper you can get wrap you can get all sorts of stuff so if you use the code that's down below it would make me feel great. I'm trying to get better at this affiliate marketing stuff. I'm not that great at it, but all of us need supplies. We all do. Save a little bit of money. Use this code. It will help support me and this channel, and I appreciate that a great deal. Thank you, guys.